Hey everyone, this is Anasmita Goswami and I'll be discussing on the topic demonetization. Demonetization is the process of revoking the legal tender status of a currency unit. In simple terms, it entails rendering a currency devoid of its face value, thus making it ineligible for use as legal tender in transactions. Demonetization in India happened in November 2016 when the Indian government announced a historic decision to demonetize 500 rupees and 1000 rupees currency notes. This move came along as a surprise to the nation and was aimed at addressing various economic issues prevalent in the country. The main objectives included combating black money, curbing corruption, addressing counterfeit currency, promoting digital transactions, and boosting financial inclusion. The immediate effects of demonetization was cash crunch, which is a sudden withdrawal of high denomination currency notes, leading to a severe shortage of cash in the economy and causing long queues at banks and ATMs. There was also disruption in economic activities where industries relying heavily on cash transactions such as agriculture, informal sectors and small businesses experienced a significant slowdown in economic activities. There was also impact on informal sector where small businesses, street vendors and daily wage earners were hit hard by the cash crunch leading to layoffs and loss of income. There was also rise in informal borrowing where with limited access to cash, individuals and businesses turned to informal sources of credit such as loan sharks and informal money lenders often at inexorbitant interest rates to meet their immediate financial needs. In the long term there has been a boost to digital economy where the push towards digital transactions and electronic payments fostered the growth of the digital economy encouraging innovation and technological advancements in the financial sector there's also been a formalization of the economy where demonetization led to a shift from cash based transactions to digital payments resulting in greater transparency and accountability in financial transactions there's also reduction in black money while the immediate impact of black money was limited demonetization facilitated greater scrutiny and enforcement measures contributing to the reduction of illicit wealth over time there has also been changes in consumer behavior where demonetization spurred a cultural shift towards cashless transactions with more individuals and businesses embracing digital payment platforms for convenience and scrutiny however demonetization came with its own criticisms and challenges despite its intended objectives demonetization faced criticism on several fronts the abruptness of the decision and inadequate planning led to significant economic disruptions particularly for vulnerable sections of the society small businesses informal sector workers and rural communities were disproportionately affected by the cash crunch implementation challenges including currency supply shortages and logistical issues compounded the problem Moreover, demonetization's impact on black money was limited, with critics arguing that it failed to achieve its primary objective effectively. Hence, demonetization in 2016 remains a contentious economic policy in India. While it aimed to reduce black money and promote cashless transactions, its execution led to short-term disruptions, particularly impacting small businesses and the informal sector. Despite potential benefits like a decrease in black money circulation and the promotion of digital payments ongoing research is needed to fully understand its impact in conclusion demonetization highlights the complexities of economic reforms underscoring the need for careful consideration of both intended and unintended consequences